Thank you, Peyton. There's always great music to experience at Five Points Music Sanctuary. And this weekend, you're invited to take in some great performances, including an official launch party for Mountain Walrus. So joining me now with more is Foster Barton. He's a band member with Mountain Walrus. And then we have Tyler Gotze. He's the executive director of Five Points Music Sanctuary. Welcome both of you to the show. Great to have you. Thanks for having Thanks us. All right, so Foster, tell me a little bit about Mountain Walrus. Um, well, at Mountain Walrus is an original funk project that I started a couple years back. Um, basically, the, the long and short of it is we, a bunch of Appalachian boys trying to play funk music. So mm -hmm. it's kind of taken on its own thing. But uh -huh. um, really, we just are a group of guys trying to do something different and yeah. have fun. Yeah, absolutely. And this is your like debut album, right? Yeah, so first it's one. The launch party, right? Mm -hmm. What can people expect when they go to the show? Um, well, we're actually going to play not only just the album, uh, which is seven songs. Uh, we have, we're in the process of finishing our second album already, and we're getting ready to start our third album. So wow. we have 20 original songs to play oh, that's great. on Friday. Oh, that's um, going to be fun. And we're real proud of them, too. So we yeah. can't wait to. A lot of them we haven't played before. Some of them are honoring some fallen friends from, you know, in the last few months. And mm -hmm. some of them are, you know, just songs from a lifetime ago that I've rearranged for this band. And. It's a lot of cool stuff, a lot of different stuff, but we're, all, we're really proud of it. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so Tyler, tell us a little bit about Five Point Sanctuary and the mission of this venue. Well, the mission is quite simple, Natalie, to pursue and celebrate the power of sound. You know, one of the things that I love about what we do, and it's hard to, to overstate the importance of our local music scene. And when Foster came to me and said they had a new album they were coming up with and he wanted to release it at the sanctuary, it's really hard for us to you know, like make sure those numbers work for everybody. And so one of the things we think about when it comes to our local music scene is how do they reimagine what they do? How do they think about getting not just uh, the next show done, but how do they think about the one after that? And how do you expand? Mm -hmm. Foster and I have worked really closely with the band to create a whole concept of, of media behind us from photograph that you walk away with for press kit ready photos, uh, public arts projects, um, video that we walk away with. We want to remind people that these experiences and the success that we have from them are more than what we just hear on a stage. It's about the things that we see, feel, and share collectively. Now when we mix that together in a pot, that's when we get the moments like we're going to get tomorrow night when the lights and the bands and the audience come together. Yeah. Friday night. Friday night, yeah, absolutely. And, and we do want to mention that this has been sold out and that's really significant yeah. and that's showing the work that you've done behind the scenes to really kind of support these artists, right? That's exactly right. And I think that what you see is um, the success of a local fan base that is excited about what they do. Uh, you know, they've got a lot of amazing venues that make Roanoke's music scene vibrant and mm -hmm. it's really important for all the artists that have access to those venues to continue to be able to grow. And I think creatively, one of the things that we've been able to collaborate with when it comes to local artists is to reimagine that. And I think that the success of what Foster and his band have done has really come down to the way they came back and thought about that the concert is not just the only experience. Mm -hmm. It is the collective story that we tell along the way. It is the angst and the, and the frustration that passes along during the days that we also have joys and celebration. And then it comes out in their music. Yeah, absolutely. And we all get to celebrate with you, for sure. Um, you have uh, been hosting a lot of events to raise money to buy the building that you're in right now. That's Tell right. us a little bit about the update on that effort. Well, um, just about three years ago, at the end of this year, uh, will be our third year of our capital campaign. Uh, over time, we put down $150,000 towards the purchase of our building, which is largely due to the success and support of a lot of our funding and uh, partners and sponsors and donors that have come to support us over the past two years. Um, at the end of this year, we'll put down our final down payment and finance the rest of the, wow. of the building so that we finally have our forever home. Um, if someone wants to learn more about what we do, I encourage you to go to fivepointsmusic.com, uh, read about our programs that include music therapy, hearing loss advocacy efforts, accessibility programs, and so much more. Um, understand that what Five Points is is not just a concert venue. It is so much more than that. It's how we leverage those concerts to create a broader impact on the people's lives in our community, to the families and friends that support us, and to the broader region as a whole. Yeah, and I love how you support these musicians who work so hard and then, you know, just really entertain and just uh, give life, you know, back to us each and every night when they perform. You know, it's so important. 
it's a grind for them sometimes, you know. And again, we all have these different points of, of highs and lows in our lives. And for an artist, it's local to have access to a platform to create and express themselves. It is really the most fundamental goal for us to, to give them a platform to do that. And see where the magic goes from there. Right, absolutely. Okay, so the, um, like we said, the concert's Friday night mm -hmm. uh, for Mountain Walrus, okay, and then Saturday night, this is kind of fun, a Halloween kind of theme party with the Dead Reckoning, which is a tribute band, yeah. which you also perform yeah. with, right? Uh, yeah, I do the Bob Weir work in that one, uh, mm -hmm. one of the members. Yeah, so um, we're doing like a Frankenstein theme. Uh -huh. Jerry Garcia loved like Frankenstein, so we're, I'm, I'm actually dressed up as Frankenstein. Oh, which, that's so fun. With these looks, you don't have to go very far with the Frankenstein <laughs> look, but, um, you know, we got uh, some cool stuff lined up for that. Um, you know, it's just, it's always fun. We've we've had a lot of fun at the Halloween shows. At Dead Reckoning. We've done it, how many years, like seven years or something? Seven years. I tell you, the Dead Reckoning was the very first concert we have when we opened the door to the sanctuary. Oh, and really? Sold out. Oh, that's so and fun. So you're kind of full circle here. That's mm -hmm. exactly right. And for him to sell out Mountain Wallace on Friday, if the Dead Reckoning hadn't sold out yet today, it is probably going to sell out before the end of the night. So mm -hmm. make sure that you go to fivepointsmusic.com and get those tickets before. Uh, yeah, and see going. all the other great shows that you have lined up. You know, we have an so amazing fall lineup mm -hmm. all the way through the season, uh -huh. and it's not just about those events. It's about all the different things we do at Five Points Music. Yeah. But the events serve as a great place to get introduced to. Yeah, it. well, I'm I'm excited for you and uh, the future of the sanctuary because I love your mission. So thank you so much for joining us, and uh, don't go away because coming up next we're going to have a sneak peek performance.